Hi, everyone. It's Scott. I'm here to give you an update on what's happening with the show. Um, the first thing I want to tell you is that the Disney Plus Dreamcast has come to an end. Uh, I am in the process of, of developing a new show. Uh, but first, let me tell you why the Disney Plus Dreamcast is ending. The main reason is that it's just not the show we thought it would be. Uh, when I decided to launch the show, I was inspired by... Uh, a podcast I did a few years ago called the Peggy Carter podcast, which covered Agent Carter, and it was very, very successful. And I think one of the reasons for it was just our obvious passion each and every week, even on days where we might have had a couple of complaints or something we weren't wild about in an episode, which was rare, but it did come up on occasion. Um, it was clear that we still loved everything about that show, and we did. And with all the excitement surrounding Marvel and Star Wars and classics that was all getting announced, when Disney Plus was on the verge of coming out, it just seemed like a natural fit because we were excited like everybody else, especially for those things. But when we're not talking about some of those things and we were working to watch things uh, on a weekly basis, I just felt like there were more things that we weren't as passionate about or maybe had a mixed reaction to than maybe passionate, <laughs> maybe passionate discussions. Um, not to say that we have to like everything or love everything that we're watching. That's not possible, really. Um, but I just felt for a Disney show, uh, especially as big Disney fans that we are, that just wasn't coming through. And I think there's a lot of factors involved there, including just what's been available and what we've been able to watch. So I just thought it was best to wrap this up and reroute energy to a place that might be a little easier to have consistent uh, enthusiasm and passionate discussions about these type of things, which means this new concept can still have discussions about Marvel and Star Wars and even Disney Plus, but there's a better variety of, of choices uh, to discuss things and bring people in who are also maybe even more passionate about something and make it all about nerd culture. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm kind of going back to my roots. My first couple of podcast endeavors were all about geek culture and they were a lot of fun and I am looking forward to taking everything that I've uh, learned and grown over the years and infusing that into a very similar project again. And that's what's happening. So the Disney Plus Dreamcast website will be shut down here shortly. Not sure what I'm doing with Twitter yet, um, but I can tell you the new show is called For the Nerd. Instead of For the Win, it's For the Nerd, because that's pretty much who the show is for. <laughs> um, uh, that's the other reason for the title. The website is going to be ftnshow.com. Uh, it should be up in the next day or so, and I'm hoping to have the show launched by the middle of the month. And you'll be able to see a lot of the things that are being planned for the show as it relates to the themes that we'll be covering. I mean, it's going to be movies, TV, gaming, toy collecting, um, all kinds of nerdy goodness, basically. And lots of people that are going to come on the show and take part in those discussions. I'm also hoping to incorporate more uh, interviews into that show. That's something I've been doing since day one, and I really would like to incorporate those into this show as well. So anyway, that's what's happening. Um, but before I started really diving into getting that going, I wanted to give you all an explanation as to why this is happening and let you know what is happening. So let me just wrap this up by saying for those of you who have listened to any of the shows, either from day one all the way through or you discovered us recently and you've been listening, Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it, and I know Regina and Nathan do as well. And I hope that uh, you might check out what we're going to do here in a couple weeks on For the Nerd.